Leo, welcome to your you and them reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the person that you have most on your mind. So the person that you are wishing, hoping, desiring to connect with. Have previously connected to or in current connection or will be connecting with in the future. It is still a general message, so please take only what resonates for your situation. Leave behind what simply does not resonate. Don't try to make anything fit. Feel free to check your moon rising Venus for additional messages for you or that your person. If you're unsure, unaware which other planetary placements are, there is a link in my description box to a free natal calculator that can help you suss out that information. For all my beautiful and returning Leo subscribers and viewers, I just want to give a great big shout out of love and appreciation for all your interaction and your support of the channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Amy Kasiri of House of Tarot, and I'm very happy to have you here. All right, my beautiful Leos, we are going to go ahead and take a look at your overall energy, your person's overall energy, the your hidden energy, their hidden energy, or subconscious energy, the shared energy between you and your person, and then we'll be taking a look at the, their situation or challenge that you're currently facing, and we'll be pulling some oracle cards to get kind of a better look into the situation, and we'll be finishing up with some letter confirmations for your person. All right, that being stated, let's go ahead and do this. Leo, overall energy at this time, please. How is Leo coming through? Aw, uh, Leo, what's going on here? We got the Three of Swords coming through. Now, for some of you, this is going to be past heartbreak, past pain. Uh, for others of you, you're currently feeling some type of heartbreak, some type of pain, some type of disappointment. Um, some of you, this could be a relationship that's gone sour, something that has ended. Uh, some of you could just be, you know, again, healing from a, pa uh, you know, a past situation left over energy here. But there is a sense of, you know, not feeling very great at this moment in time, Leo. All right, let's take a look at Leo's o person's overall energy. How are they coming through at this time? How is Leo's person, their overall energy, how are they coming through at this time for Leo? All right, so Leo, your person has got the Ace of Cups as their overall energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in and, and dissect this one for a minute because I'm getting a couple different messages and scenarios for you. So some of you, you have a new person coming in. Um, some of you, this is going to open, reopen you to love, but this person is open. Uh, they are, this person could also be focusing on self-love at this time. New projects, new passions, uh, new possibilities. I'm getting this from, I'm getting an energy of someone exploring. Leo, this person <clears throat> may still hold love for you. All right. So again, this is looking at new, past, present, and future energies here. So let's take a look at Leo's hidden or subconscious energy going on within Leo that the Leo may not be aware of or may not be the so focal point for Leo at this time. All right. So we do have the Ace of Wands. So, Leo, this could be you craving something new, something passionate. Something may have sparked an initial thought, an initial emotion within you. Some of you, you're ready. This is the desire to begin something new, to have something new. Some of you, this is wanting to rekindle maybe an old flame. Maybe have a new opportunity with your person here. All right, let's see your individual's hidden or subconscious energy, what's going on underneath the surface for your person. What's going on subconsciously? <clears throat> hidden energy. All right, that one fell to the floor. All right, so we're getting high priestess energy with, with this. So there could be, for some of you, a lack of communication or something that you're not seeing. Okay, so we've got the Page of Swords coming in for your person. And their hidden or subconscious energy. So let's talk about that one for, for a second. Some of you may be connecting with or have a desire to connect with somebody that is a younger uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or someone that is at an age disparity from you. I'm also getting with this, with this energy, with this message specifically, is for a lot of you, this is an energy for your person 
where they are kind of maybe a little bit reserved at the moment. There's some type of truth or clarity your person's trying to seek. For some of you, Leo, this could be your person maybe keeping an eye on you, taking a peek on you, or just kind of being a little bit standoffish. There is this interest with the Ace of Cups of a love connection of, of, of furthering the situation for some of you. Um, but there is this information of like th this energy of do I need more information? Like, can I trust this? Is this right? Now, for a few of you, not for the whole bunch, not for the whole collective, but for a very few select of you. And this will not catch you by surprise. This will kind of ring true. Um, this person that you're connecting with, with this page of swords, can be a little bit of a... Um, a pot stirrer, shall we say. They, they can be a little bit into the gossip and they, you know, rumors and things of that nature. So there, there could be a little bit um, of that energy going on with your person subconsciously. I don't feel like this person kind of means to do it. I think this is more of a subconscious thing um, where they may find themselves so yippee yapping when they should be really zipped. Um, just kind of putting that out there. But for the most of you, for the majority of you, what I see is somebody kind of standing back a little bit, being a little quiet with this high priestess, looking into the situation, possibly looking into you, Leo, and kind of doing an evaluation, collecting more information, making sure that this is a connection that was going to work. All right, so let's see the energy between Leo and their person at this time. How is that coming through for my beautiful Leos? okay so we have the nine of pentacles and the two of cups the two of cups was at the bottom of the deck so with nine of pentacles as a shared energy this tells me that for the majority of you you and your person are single you are in your own energy you're in your own element both of you are capable of standing on your own two feet. So there is not this energy of codependency showing up here. When it comes to partnerships, I feel like you're looking for, you both are looking for somebody who is going to be self-reliant. So, and then that some pairing is a very big, important thing. And I'm not saying like that they don't want to take care of you or you don't want to kind of nurture this connection or this person. But this is somebody who, I feel like both of you kind of been in previous relationships where it, where that energy was kind of one-sided, where one of you or both of you poured your energy into a connection and the other person that you were in that connection with just, you know, didn't reciprocate. And that's kind of left a sour taste in you or their mouth or both of your mouths. I feel like this is kind of like a shared experience. Um, this is where some of you could be in acts where, you, where this dynamic was at one point, very dominant and could have led to the separation. But so what I am feeling for the majority of my Leos here is this is an energy of wanting to be with somebody who is capable of emotionally, mentally, physically, financially kind of stepping up, taking care of themselves. For the most part, I feel like with for you, Leo, this is somebody that you want, you know, you want to be with somebody who needs not needs that's the wrong word for it where you can lend your energy your expertise your love your affection your dy dynamic personalities to improve upon a person not to fill the gaps and i think that's kind of the word that's coming through here not to fill the cracks not to fill the gra gaps not to kind of be the foot up, the leg up of for your person or their situation. I feel like what you're looking for is an equal. And I feel like this is both say like, this is the same on both sides. So both of you are desiring the same thing in a connection. You definitely want passion, right? You definitely want spontaneity. You want, definitely want to be charismatic and carry all those wonderful Leo traits still over there. This is where you still want those things in your connection, but you also want it to be more grounded, more solid more steady and stable all right so let's see what the situation or challenge is for you and your person leo what is the situation and challenge for my leos and their person the person on their mind the person that they are hoping wishing desiring 
to connect with previously connected to or will be connecting with in the future what's going on here what's the situation all right so the first energy coming through is the moon some of you may be connecting with a pisces or a cancer doesn't have to be um i'm already getting the energy of fear there is some type of a disillusion a fear um this is our shadow sides this is our worries that are coming in um so definitely seeing some some so maybe some holding back but let's see what more comes through what else do we have here for the challenge and situation or challenge or situation for leo and their person thank you high priestess energy definitely water energy coming through here guys a lot of water a lot of emotions happening all right and i'm not going to take those unless it comes back out Two came out. I just need one, please. One more. Mm. All right. So, Leo, one of the things that I'm getting here is, yeah, there's some of you, you're in separation. There's a lot of fear. Somebody's holding back from communicating what they really want. Uh, Six of Source tells me, it, this is a situation. Some of you are moving on, okay? You're moving on from a situation that was impulsive, that was there was heartbreak, there was pain. Um, you, somebody walked away. Um, so this is very interesting. This caused some fear, some worry. I do get that. You know, this could be past for some of you where there's no com currently no communication, but some but there but there's action that wants to be taken here. There's something that wants to be stated and wants to be told. Could very well be your person. That has something to say here but in the past i'm getting somebody walked away somebody moved on from a situation but there is good days good times celebration joy in the future you guys are moving towards that you're leaving behind what doesn't serve you and you're moving towards a future that is more suited for you leo but let's see what else i'm just going to pull a couple more on this what else can you tell me about leo in this situation Looking at, at new situation for Leo, new energy, new persons. Yeah, there's lovers coming in, Gemini energy there. New love, new choices. Somebody is going to feel bonded. Somebody's going to feel like an equal partner. What else can you tell me? A Leo and new persons. New energies. What can you tell me? Yeah, you're going to get unstuck. This is going to feel like you have finally been released from change. You're moving on from difficult situations, entering into something new. Love it. That's going to bring you joy. It's going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. So where you've been changed down, where you couldn't see, where, where you've held on intentionally or unintentionally to this heartbreak, to this pain, uh, you guys are moving on into a connection that's going to free you from those, those energies. Um, completely, 100%, just done. You're moving on from that. You're leaving that behind. You're going to have happiness. You're going to have joy. You're going to have good times ahead of you, emotional fulfillment, the promise of a fulfilled life. I love it. And for those of you that are in other connections, I see you guys moving forward, moving into a good place. There could be a renewal, right? A renewal of good times and joy and happiness. There's going to just be this emotional fulfillment that is coming in once some of you may have to release some of the stuff from the past. Some of the things that you've been holding on to that's no longer serving your connection in order to get there. But I definitely see you guys choosing love. Leo, in this case, all of you, whether you're connecting with somebody new and something new is coming in for you, a previous ex is coming back that maybe didn't work out the first time. Uh, those of you in current connection or those of you going to be connecting with somebody in the future, you guys are leaving the past painful situations behind you're moving on from that you're getting unstuck unchained from those things that tied you down or held you down or held you back and there's going to be this beautiful blessing this beautiful new energy but let's go ahead and go a little bit further into the situation leo and see what's going on see what you may not be aware of what what you may not be seeing when it comes to your person or the person that is you know on your mind all right, what do we have for Leo, please? What does Leo need to know about their person? For their highest vibration and highest good. What does Leo need to know? Okay. What does Leo need to know for their highest vibration and highest good, please? And what would their person say to them? What does their person want to say? All right, 
right, Rio, we've got, I wonder if you're happy without me. So that, you got an ex, some of you have an ex that is furious, like I told you. They're standing back. They're trying to figure things out. They're trying to feel, feel, feel the, the energies, trying to gather the truth, see if it's worth coming forward and, and making a new offer here because they miss you. They love you. You have somebody here that hopes that you can forgive them one day. You have, I'm grateful for spiritual lessons. So some of you are soulmate twin flames that, um, or even karmic partners where you guys have given each other lessons. I'm getting, I don't react when people mention you. So this person's playing it close to the chest. They don't want other people to know how they're feeling about you. And then we have, I love you unconditionally. So take what messages you're being called into, Leo. We'll simply leave which ones don't feel right. If it feels right, take it. If it doesn't, leave it. All right, let's take a look, Leo, at you and your person. Let's take some more news, angels on this. What do we have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, please. What's coming through for Leo? What's coming through for my beautiful Leos at this time, Leo and their person? All right, so we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this is about getting to know each other at a soul cellular level. This is also about, you know, those of you that are in connection or just starting out in a situation and you're seeing something that doesn't jive with you, um, something that maybe they say, an action that they do, or, you know, it could be just anything that just doesn't sit right, that you're uncomfortable with, but you don't want to shake things up because it's new and you don't want to be that person. But here's the thing. If you don't be that person, that action, that behavior, that, that energy that doesn't sit well with you, yeah, that's going to stay with you and that's going to build and that's going to create later problems layered or down the road. It's kind of like this. The red flags that we, we ignore early on are going to be the reasons that we break up or our be bigger issues down the road. So address those things, the good, the bad, the ugly. It has to be addressed in order for you both to move forward into this beautiful place. It's all about letting go, right? Like I let go of those energies. They got to be addressed. All right. So Leo... Uh, not surprised to see the playfulness coming in to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. So don't be so focused on the past, right? Let that go. Deal with it. Let it go. Don't be focused on the future. Don't be trying to make things happen too quick, too fast. Uh, just be present in the moment. Enjoy it as it's happening. Don't focus on that future. Don't focus on that past. Be present. Be kind of a little bit immature, but not, in, you know, not a super immature, but be a little bit immature. Have a little laughs. Be playful. Be lighthearted. Just be present in the moment. All right. The romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Leo, there's no doubt you and your person have an attraction towards each other. It's real. What you're feeling is real, whether it's happy, sad, mad, indifference, whatever you're feeling, whatever emotions that are coming up this time. Your spirit team wants you to acknowledge the fact that this is absolutely 100% real and should be acknowledged. It should be accredited is what I'm hearing, accredited to you. All right, so we're getting to express your love. Go ahead, make that romantic gesture, Leo. Make that romantic gesture if that's something that you guys have been wondering if you should do or saying, go ahead, make it. All right, and for those of you that are in a connection, Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. All right. Beautiful energies. Let's go ahead and get some songs from the spiritual jukebox. Now, if you're new and you have not heard this, this little spiel before, here it goes. These messages can come through. Leo, as you know, your heart space to your person's heart space, how you're feeling about them, how it can be vice versa, how they're feeling about you. These songs could come through that may have special meaning to you or your person or your connection. However, it resonates. But here's the thing. Very importantly, these are channeled. So I had no control over the songs that are picked, nor will I have control over which ones that come out. Only ever, only ever take the ones that you're being pulled into, being guided to. This is where your intuition and your discernment will come in handy. If you're not being pulled to it, if it's not sticking out. If it doesn't seem to be like jumping up out of the, the table or out of my hand, like if you don't get a funny feeling, it's not your message and leave it. 
All right, what do we have for Leo, please? All right, that's too many. Let's start with just one, one, please. Thank, thank you. All right, so Leo, right off the bat, and I got to get it because it fell on the floor. We have, hold on, Wilson Phillips. That's a very old song, but it may have some type of resonance for you or your person. All right, we have One Call Away, Charlie Puth. Here we go. I'm Yours, Jason Mraz. I hope I said that right. Mars, Mraz. Somebody tell me which way it is. This is me you're talking to, Trisha Yearwood. You are the reason, Callum Scott, Le Leona Lewis. Anymore, Travis Tritt. When I look into your eyes, Firehouse. Last call for Leo. Okay, thank you. We have Ocean Eyes, Billie Eilish. You're Gone, Diamond Rio. Mirrors, Justin Timberlake. Your arms feel like home, three doors down. Forever love, Reba McIntyre. And then, of course, we have unconditionally, Katy Perry. All right, let's get some letter confirmations uh, for you, for your person. So this can be your person's first, last, middle, initial. It can be letters coming through, can spell out their name or spell out a word. However, it resonates for you and yours. All right, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, let's take a look into who Leo's person is. The person on Leo's mind, the person that Leo's hoping, wishing, desiring to connect with. We have A coming through. And we have T. So already we have at. <laughs> we have K. So we have cat. We have Y, Katie. Patty. We have S. We have another T coming through. A Q. Another Q, so two Qs, another K, two Ks. We have an F, we got a V, we got a C, we've got an L. Another F, a D, an E, R, a B, and that's it. W at the bottom of the deck. So we got, again, E, R, and we have B. So let's kind of go over that real quick. We've got, we've got Fred, we've got Ted, we've got Tad. We've got Lady, we've got Kat and Katie, Kate, Bart, Brett. And that's not all that I'm I'm personally seeing. 
um, was guided to call out. So if you guys are seeing it from me now, uh, take it as a sign of synchronicity. All right, my beautiful Leos, that is all I have for you for this reading. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you or your situation. If it didn't, no worries. Check your other planetary placements for additional messages or check back for another reading. Please be sure to smash that like button if you have not yet done so. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you, my beautiful Leos, in your next reading. I believe that will probably be your June reading because I have next but next week uh, rec recording time. So that being stated, much love to all of you. Namaste. Bye for now.